Under the Sand, a UAV for landmine detection. In this work, we present an autonomous UAV with a ground penetrating synthetic aperture radar for landmine detection. To enable this subsurface imaging technique, it is necessary for the UAV to have multiple key capabilities. These include flying sensor specific flight maneuvers, terrain tracking control, and high accuracy sensor localization. This system combines all of these into a single autonomous workflow. After takeoff, the platform ascends to high altitude and transitions to the suspected hazardous area. Once the platform reaches the area of interest, it descends to low altitude to start the radar survey. To maintain a consistent height, the UAV robustly fuses changes in GNSS altitude with LiDAR and radar altimeter measurements. The ground penetrating radar measurements are then collected along informative trajectories. Here, the UAV performs circular SAR to uniformly illuminate the scene from different viewpoints. Once the radar survey is complete, the UAV ascends back to the safe transitioning altitude and returns to the takeoff position. To finally compute the radar image, the UAV still needs to accurately reconstruct the executed flight path. During the flight, the system evaluates a fixed leg smoother to estimate its position and orientation. The estimator fuses RTK GNSS position with RTK moving baseline and IMU measurements in a GTSAM factor graph optimization. On the ground, the system refines its localization result by running a batch optimization over all available RTK GNSS and IMU measurements. Finally, the localization and radar data are passed to the SAR imaging processor. We tested our system in a sand pit. Here we buried four metal candlelits at a depth of 2 to 5 cm and one lit at approximately 19 cm. In the experiment, the UAV covered approximately 50 square meter in 6 minutes flight time. The scanning velocity was 1 meter per second. The resulting 3D radar image clearly shows the presence of the five buried targets. In particular, the shallow objects are very well visible. This shows the potential of the system to be used as an aerial landmine detection device. For further details and analysis, please view the accompanying publication or contact the authors.